Okay. Have have you taken a look at the documents, Ray? I actually have not. I've had a lot of things to do because I actually might have moved out of this apartment tomorrow. Okay. Oh okay. So I'm actually uh, – things have not been going the way that I expect it to be, but I'll deal with it. Right. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay, well, actually, say again. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was on, but I actually couldn't get the microphone to work. I finally got it to work. Yeah. I had that problem today. Skype, Skype, like to uh, reset my microphone settings. It thinks that the microphone is elsewhere, and it isn't. Yeah. Now we gotta change the drivers. We gotta fix this driver problem on my computer. It might be more u- useful if you actually get a tr- a real mouse and put it on there instead of using the touchpad. Well, you're have- right. I'll I'll, I'll 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 connect the USB mouse and to see if there's a difference. There should be a big difference. Okay, that may help. That would mean I can't I can't sit in my easy chair and work with the laptop. I have to get up on the desk. I'll do that. I actually have never liked the touchpad, so basically on even on my friend's computer, which I'm sitting on right now, I actually do use a mouse. Okay. So you're Adolf? Yeah, I put it in as Adolf Hitler. No, oh, you, 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 mis, you misspelled it. You said Hissel. Mm-hmm. Next time I'll come in as Batman. Okay. Uh. Well, as long as we got the recording on, let's let's talk about something then. Any other any other questions you have about this? That you Is this the going over? Pardon? I'm basically be- uh, actually I'm barely beginning to download stuff. So yeah, I'm in the process of <clears throat> opening up my computer right now and downloading. Thomas, is that the guy that the, that is talking? Is he the one that was uh, talking about the hospital, how he was in the hospital? Yes. Yes. Okay. What is your name? Ray Owen, ma'am. Okay. It was good to hear you on the recording, and I wanted to ask a question, and actually I um, asked the Skype group last week in regards to the legal meaning of writing signing your signature and putting in law in admiralty. Well, what you're actually doing is removing any type of immunity that they have. Uh, Any public official has by coming in in admiralty because you're coming under the law of the sea and of the land. But you're uh, you're not coming in as a 14th Amendment citizen, but as a 9th and 10th Amendment citizen. And you can hold okay. them liable and for their also, actions. And you're also coming in as an admiral. Yes, you are. Yes. And we all know what that means. Whereas, whereas in the maritime court, you don't have status. But in admiralty, you have status. Yeah. And uh, this 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 was discussed uh, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, I forget what uh, folder it was in. Um, bonds of support, bonds for support. Bonds and support. I think there were bonds for support. The, the bonds, bonds of support for... folder had, and and the, the calls of that week too had a discussion of admiralty. But uh, tell them your reaction, their reaction, Ray, when when we gave them the little discussion 
of uh, the, the fact that their immunity is removed. The way that I'm, excuse me, but the way that I'm actually beginning to think is that the the government is the terrorist here for the simple fact that whatever it's been doing, it's been doing it for so long that it actually is, it not only is responsible for their actions, but look what it's been doing lately, trying to kill its own citizens, execution style, you know? I mean, oh, a government a that does not obey the orders of the people is not a government. It's just another terrorist organization. My personal opinion is everybody should stand up. Not everybody's going to do it, and not everybody believes the way that I, I believe as to really getting uh, rid of these people. But, you know, they are a foreign enemy, and they got to be taken out of our country, out of, out of our republic, not our country, because country is a corporation. Our own republic. This is our republic, not theirs. They've taken over. Yeah, Patrick, you, Patrick uses this, this, the, the distinction of country, of nation versus country. Country is the corporation, nation is the constitutional entity. Constitutional part, yes, but I, I rather, to me, it's more of a republic. But, but, but uh, I, I think they, they would be interested in the, how, how, how they reacted after, how they treated you after you explained admiralty to them. Once I explained admiralty to the hospital, when I was sitting in the hospital, they basically treated me like a king. I got to stay in a private room, and I actually told them, I'm sick and tired of being abused, coming in, getting checked out. You guys are billing me, and then you're putting me out as, as soon as you can out on the street because somebody else is out there waiting. Well, this is where it ends. Basically, you're going to service this carcass to the best of your ability until whether you make me well or until I die. But in the mean process, you're responsible for your actions. And they took it seriously enough that they, that they actually have handed me, without going into the Social Security Administration, they've actually handed me a bill. They're not using my Social Security number. So well, I they want, they right basically now, want to... Bill. Say again? Yeah, they, basically, they, they wanted him to try Patrick's method first. If, if, if they went through the Social Security... All they would get is a credit. But if they can get it done through the bankruptcy court, they think, it may not be true, but they think they will actually get paid a second time. And that's the way I try to explain it to them, that there was that possibility and they were more amenable to making this work than just letting it go. So I've actually been handed a $40,000 bill right now to offset with the uh, with attorney generals and the treasury but it's an actual bill with no it doesn't have a social security right. number on it or anything and they, they did explain that if, if this the bankruptcy court wasn't successful that they would still go back and use the social security number yeah but that that will happen after a month of not, that not being paid, pretty much. So he's been he's been treated rather well at the hospital now. He's going back he's in Monday for another. Life. Life. Virginia Mason basically saved my life. I was from, uh, when I walked in there. The doctor said you basically were about four hours from dying. Just from what your body was telling me. Four or five hours, I would have been deader than a doornail, just another carcass in a coffin. Okay. I'm, I'm going to back off the call and call Patrick and see if uh, something. No, I'm on a liar okay. now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Patrick. Awesome. Okay, I gave you all the documents to get out of the system and to uh, also uh, to turn around. But you need to have your estate EIN, 
you don't have an estate EIN, the first thing you do tomorrow is get one. Okay? And if you don't have a foreign grantor's trust EIN, you need to get that. Okay, I've talked about this for almost six years now without mm -hmm. getting those two numbers. Okay? You need the foreign grantor's right. trust because our assets are held. This is the alien property custodian that everybody's been looking for. Okay? is this foreign grantor trust. Our assets are held in a trust. In God we trust, it says on the damn dollar bills. Everything out here is basically uh, done in uh, the current, in the country is operated by eternal or internal revenue of the country. <laughs> the IRS has been out here since day one of this country. There are this fraudulent IRS that's out of Puerto Rico that's working for the other for claiming taxes back for the usage of the Federal Reserve Social Security accounts and all that stuff. But you can go in and turn around and you put this in, the documents that I put up there today, you put this into the IRS Commissioner Internal Revenue Service. We're operating, and that's the currency of exchange in this country, is internal revenue. Okay. That's the currency that we need to get. We will use the Federal Reserve dollars, but like I said, for years, it will be under the green seal of the Federal Reserve dollar because it will be asset-backed. Because we're taking silver out of our foreign grantor trust account that's sitting there. So to get it out, we need to have a routing number to get it out. Excuse me, Patrick. Yes. So this money, once it enters circulation, it cannot be pulled out? If you don't have a foreign grant or trust, EIN, you're not going to pull out shit. Okay. Thank you. And then you have to have it converted because right now, one silver dollar out of the trust equals 12 or uh, 15 or 16 to 17 Federal Reserve dollars. So it's got to be brokered. And that's part of the service side of hmm. the internal revenue. to broker that out using the 1099 uh, forms. The 1099B is a brokering form. So then it gets deposited into our estate account. The foreign grant or trust is a savings account. Okay, just like in a regular commercial bank, your savings account, you can't write a check out against that savings account. You have to go in and have some of the savings pulled out and put into your checking account. Then you can write a check out. But they have to process it through to basically broker out the bonds and the interest rate that they have asset against that, against the assets that are in the savings account. And that's what we need to go through and have the Internal Revenue Service do for us. 
Who gave us these EINs? The IRS. The Internal Revenue. You get on the phone, you talk to some of these people out here, you're talking to the de facto IRS, not the de jour. They don't have access to the foreign grant or trust numbers. Only the de jour IRS basically can check that out for you. But if they claim that you have a foreign grant or trust number, you use that until proven different. And then your fictional person is dead, like I said, for years. He died at the age of 25. That Social Security account was only supposed to be a seven-year contract. So everything out here after that has been operated in fraud. That's why they treat you as a criminal. Because you're operating in a conspiracy, a criminal conspiracy, against both yourself and the country. Trading with the enemy. We've been our own worst nightmare in most of this stuff. The bankrupts or the court system out here is a Jezebel banking system. Corporate whore. When I didn't get anything from them, not a damn response, not a call or anything, from all the stuff that I put in this last week, there had to be something wrong. It's because they don't give justice. They're the brokers, just like in Jesus' time, the temple system. They're the Judases. They're the betrayers. In the system, the Jezebel, the Babylonians. That's what the court is really all about. They're the Babylonians. And we come in now as we, when we were 90 days after we were born into our mother's arms, okay, that's not a birth date for us. It's a born date, being born into your mother's arms. Your real birth date is the 90 days afterwards. And that is the date you were banked upon the land. You were banked. You were placed upon the ground to start crawling around. That's the approximate time frame there. And then you were banked. And everything out here is about banking, being banked. We have banked our assets. So we have a bank sitting there that we need to come in and claim, and that's what we're doing. Then when you have the EIN numbers, the Foreign Grantor Trust, you can move your bank assets out, have them converted, and then deposited into your checking account, your estate checking account. Those forms that I put up there should be pretty damn self-explanatory. They're as simple as I can make them in the process. We send this in to the commissioner. Give them three hours. People are saying, no, it should be three days. No, basically, it's a hiring contract. Do you want the job or don't you? You 
you better take the job because maybe I will take it further up the line to the CID. Criminal Investigation Division. We've done our job now. We put the onus upon them. We are the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of our bank, as the principal banker. But we still don't have direct access to the funds. So we need a CFO, a Chief Financial Officer. And that's what I'm doing in these contracts, is making the office of the IRS uh, of the IRS commissioner the CFO of my bank account. Then he can process the stuff. Now he's working for me. We know roughly what the conversion rate is. We don't need to know how much is in that damn trust. It's unlimited for all regards. You put these forms in, and basically then you do a transfer, like say for a million dollars. Have it converted silver dollars out of the trust. And then they will tell you, you want direct them to tell you what the balance is now being deposited into my estate checking account. Then the other form that I had there with that was to do a transfer. But on the bottom, I said, now, you as a CFO will supply me with my CEO bank identification card, a debit card, and some certified cashier's checks. So that I can operate in lawful American banking internal revenue of the country. But we can put a order in a uh, cashier's check in to have them process out, say like $250,000 and have it delivered to us in Federal Reserve dollars. After the conversion has been made, you will get a visit from the men in black. So you best know what you're talking about here. But if you've got your EINs, you're set to go then. Your certificate of live birth is your civilian bank account. Your selective service number is basically your military bank account. You have to have a bank account for the uh, military. Now, some people will have more funds in that military bank account than others if they did actual military service. But you still, if you, even if you didn't do military service, you had a military bank account if you have a selective service because you made yourself available for seven years to defend the country if called upon.
guys got to start thinking about these things in a logical manner. And then start when things do not happen, why did they not happen the way we thought they were going to happen? Because we were still trying to go to the wrong damn banking system. We thought we'd get justice out of the court system in this country. No. The second package that I had Tom post up there, and I had him post up an Iowa code to go along with it. 507C.17. It talks right about what we're going to try and do is shutting down these driver's license, these certificates of title, this Social Security account. These are domestic insurers that they're foreign-sponsored bank and insurance corporations. They have been causing us financial harm. Hazard. Item number three calls it out. Hazard. Financially or other. Placing you in jail. Unfortunately, trumped up charges. That's the other transaction that they're talking about. Harming the policyholder, the creditor, or the public. Your bank, your all na all capital name person, American Internal Revenue Bank, a, a, tru a state and trust, <laughs> is the creditor for all this stuff that's going on in this country. The true creditor. These other banks, they have no money. <laughs> We've been out there giving them access to it by certificates, by licenses, by whatever, by contract. Contracting ourselves to go to jail. Unbeknowing what this shit was really going on. So in that package, we have to submit that into, right now, the guy's, or the person's name, is the United States Magistrate at the Federal District Court. His real title was United States Commissioner. And see, in that 507C, 17, and you go through the whole Bible, the Iowa Code for 507C, and read them all. You'll see it talks about the proof of claims, everything that needs to be submitted in. But who is the commissioner that they're talking about? It never does really come out and say that. It's this United States commissioner. And now they put another curtain on the window so you couldn't see him very clearly, and they call him a United States magistrate. That's where our B-10s should have been going. And then we should have put a... Uh, bankruptcy foreign claim check in along with that B-10 form for the full liquidation of that item. Your fictional person basically is on the driver's license. That's the account 
that is basically the bank or the debtor. It's the state of Iowa banking and insurance corporation, but the account is the re is the debtor underneath that. The creditor on the B ten form is your bank. Your all capital name person, American Bank Trust or Estate and Trust. That's the creditor. Not you, the living. You're the C CEO of that bank. We had a lot of things so damn close, it's ridiculous. But we didn't have things quite right, and we were out of sync just a little. And that's because nobody out here really understands the banking system, and nobody helped try and correct the damn problem. They kept trying to argue the damn process that I was trying to do. Come up with this garbage and that garbage all over the damn place. Now, we've been right on. I had the right place to go to back five years ago was to the Internal Revenue. But we were using the EIS wrong and we were using the wrong account numbers. <clears throat> you have an EIN number. It's nine digits. That's your bank identification number. Now you have to have an account in that bank. Well, for your driver's license, it's your two-digit code. Why'd they come up with this two-digit code system out here for all the states? Because you add two to a nine-digit number, and what do you get? You get an 11-digit, a banking account number. The Social Security, they are using it in their Jezebel system as a bank routing number, but it's not really a bank routing number. It's a bank account number. You have to put SS in front of that now, and that's the bank account number. Eleven digits. Then you can turn around and use your estate EIN to basically order the accessing of that from that Social Security bank account, that foreign bank account. But I would go the right way and get the foreign grant or trust, get the real assets out, terminate those other accounts, stop them from using our assets any longer in a bondage system. Do the conversion of real assets, silver, into Federal Reserve dollars, that can't be removed from the system. Because when this Jezebel banking system goes down, all those Federal Reserve dollars out there that the banks have created are going to die. But if you go in and pull out Federal Reserve or silver dollars out of your foreign grant or trust, and have them converted into Federal Reserve dollars, those are asset-backed 
Federal Reserve dollars, and they can't come out of circulation. I've said this and said this for years. So these two packages that I gave to Tom, basically one is to put in and go in and start accessing your real account. The other is to put in your B10s and stuff and shut down all these foreign bank accounts. State of Iowa all capitalized, is a foreign-sponsored bank and insurance corporation. So you have to look at all these nine-digit numbers you have for the certificate of title to your vehicle. I would put an IA in front of those nine digits. That's the bank account. You can either have this U.S. Uh, magistrate or uh, basically should be the United States Commissioner for the district liquidate or the liquidation of those accounts. Because they're harming your bank as the true creditor. And they're insolvent anyway. And yes, right now they may be holding some funds, but tomorrow they may not. But if you don't close them down, those guys will try and use them against you. Okay, now does anybody have any questions on those forms that are basically put out there that you've looked at them? Okay, I'm not going to ask answer questions until basically you've looked at them, tried to fill them in, and you can't figure out how to fill them in. That'll help you. But if you haven't even bothered looking at them and tried to think these out for yourself, I haven't got time for you. I've given you the damn answer. Okay. I only have two simple. I only have two simple questions, Patrick, because it, it seems clear to me. I would imagine on the, the very top line that the number you want after the fax is actually the number we're faxing it to. Because that's our confirmation number? No, that basically that's the date. Oh, that's the Delivered date. Delivered okay. by okay. fax this date. That's the okay. date of okay. delivery. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Got it. And then this, uh, from what you said, that we'll have to send in a B10 liquidation for each, each one of these subsidiary accounts, like driver's licenses or marriage licenses. Right. Right. Okay. Got it. I mean, you get the big one. The biggie is the Social Security oh. one. And that right, may take right. care of most all the others. Because you had to give that Social Security number out for almost all these other items. For the driver's license, for the certificate of title to your vehicle, for your bank accounts, all of those. Okay. It was being operated through that Social Security. Take care. But okay. I would put one so in so take... that you know what, so you show them that so you know you... what the shit you're talking about. Right. Got it. Got it. Can you bring up uh, what you mentioned to me about uh, donating to a charity to make them feel more comfortable? Does that still fit into what you've just done? Yes. When you get out of the system, basically, hey, why hang on to this much money? 
go and start helping the charity. Show that you're not in this for greed. Okay. Yes, you can basically try and settle a couple immediate debts that you have, but basically, why not make one up right away? And basically, you get one to run through a charity, and you will get a response back from them thanking you very much. Just tell them, hey, let me know when that clears. They will be more than happy to let you know. Hmm. Or some of these other netwits, they won't give you the time of day. Then you're helping your fellow mankind, too, at the same time. Right. Because there are a bunch of networks running around out here, and they don't know how to access the American banking system, the real American banking system, because it's been so convoluted by these Jezebel bankers. Even the courts don't know how to do this. They've been so inundated with their damn Jezebel system, they couldn't figure this out. Just like in Jesus, just like in Daniel's, just like in uh, Moses' time. The pharaohs and basically all the temple priests and everything, they couldn't figure out how to get out of the system. They thought that was the whole system that they were operating in. That that was the real system. Any questions? Anybody left on the call? Yes, yeah, me. Yeah, still, still here. I'm here. Yeah, hey Patrick, this is Steve. Did, on the uh, the creditor demand, when you sign with using that SS and then dash and then use your foreign grant or trust account. No. Whatever. The SS dash for the account number down there is your social security number. A state foreign bank account, is that it? Is that what you're saying? That's the social security number then. That is the right. foreign, yeah, that is the yeah. foreign bank account. Okay. FFBA. SS dash your nine digit social security number. Correct. To make it an 11 digit account number. <clears throat> Right, and hyphens in between it doesn't really attach it. It just is a number of the series. hyphens do not count. Right. Right, I understand. Okay. So um, I'm just making sure, you know, I understood what that was correct, you know, was a Social Security number rather than a foreign grant or trust account. I mean, yeah, the I foreign, end The foreign grant or trust does not go on these documents. Okay. The estate EIN goes on. The yeah. bank routing number. Yeah, I see that. Because it's got to be routed to your bank. Right. I got it. That's the number, identifying number for you. Your estate account is your bank account. It's not identifying number for me. It's for my bank. Right, you're right, your bank. Okay. Yeah, I am not my bank. Yeah. I'm the CEO of my bank. Okay, that was good to hear again. So we got to keep these. We got to keep these distinctions straight. Exactly, what our, each one of our uh, we're playing. Yeah. Well, Al, you've done this constantly before. Yeah, Commercial so bank accounts annoying. are operated the same damn way. Right. The nine-digit number is the bank's number. Yeah, I know. You the account number is your number. 
Yeah. But you need to have an 11 digit account number. And then when you put letters in front of that, the 11 digit number, yeah. that it starts with letters, that makes it a foreign bank account. Right. Because a du jour bank account is all numbers. Yeah. Good to hear that. Your certificate of live birth is all numbers. There's no letters in it. Your selected service number is all numbers. It's not doesn't have any letters in it. Yeah. So it's not a foreign account number. Understood. Yeah, that's your primary right there. Basically, logic tells you things like that. Right. A number is a number, but when it's a foreign number, it's going to have foreign items in it, letters. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen them. I've seen the letters in front of the bond numbers on your certificate of title. They always have letters in front. Those are that number down there, and basically like on the back of the Social Security card, I'll tell you guys one last time. Those are sequence numbers for counterfeiting. Nothing wow. more. We never we tried to use those as routing numbers and different things. They're not for that. They're just a sequence number for that damn certificate to prevent counterfeiting. Because you go in and get one of those certificates of live birth, it's got that sequence number on it. Well, Joe Blow comes in, a moment later, he gets the next sequence number in line. Right, just like a lottery ticket. So if somebody goes out there and tries to make up certificates of live birth and putting different sequence numbers on them, lo and behold, when they match up the sequence number, to the name on the account on that certificate, it don't match up. Yeah. That's it. That's how they caught some of these counterfeiters and shit. You're on parole. You have a bond. Okay? That's out there. You turn around and put a B-10 in against that into that United States Federal District Court. Have it addressed to the United States Magistrate or United States Commissioner. having them demanding that they basically adjudicate and liquidate that damn account. That they're causing you harm as the CEO of the bank and also your bank harm and also the country. Exactly. And we can do that for people in prison still, right? You do it yourself first before you even try and mention it oh, right, to anybody right. in prison. Hey, class. Oh, right. I understand. Well, if they're in prison, it's because they put themselves there. Don't they? Do you think they deserve what they get? What? <laughs> People who are in prison, don't you think they deserve what they get for being there? There's not everybody. You're a fucking in idiot to say something like that. Okay, if it's all about fucking money, no, they don't deserve to be there. 
Nobody okay. deserves to be fucked over in this country by the fucking Jezebel banking system. Yeah. It's all that. The bankers are doing that themselves to the people. They don't give a shit about you. Obama doesn't give you a shit about you. Oh, that I know. Okay? Then why would you expect the damn court system to give a shit about you? I don't. But there are some judges out there that are trying to help the people and try to give them clues and hints, but they can't open up their damn mouth and tell you the whole damn answer. They can only give you sort of tidbits. You have to start and go ask the question, why is it like this? Okay. You're not paying for anybody else out here. I'm just paying for myself. Everything is coming out of your account against you. Even these foreigners that come into this country from Mexico, they're North Americans. They have access to this foreign grantor trust account just as well as we do. Because it's a North American account. The Declaration of Independence was written for everybody in North America. Not just the fucking white shitheads or the people in the damn continental 13 colonies. Hmm. It was written for all the people up in Canada, all the people on in the Indian nations out here. But they didn't understand how to read the Constitution either. Well, you'll have to excuse me for being so hard on criminals, but my father and my, my family was murdered. So I just don't happen to have compassion on people. That is totally different, okay? When you have actually physically done harm, then you have to pay the penalty. I'm talking about all these others that are in there on banking charges. Okay. There's a big fucking difference. But okay. people I will not make can't it understand that. Okay. No more said. Thank you. Okay. So no, no questions on my end anymore. Okay. Anybody else? I'm sorry I'm such a hard ass and basically scare half you people from opening up your mouth. But basically, uh, I'm trying to give you the hard facts, and the hard facts come hard. You're not a hard ass. You're just being real. No, I'm a hard ass. <laughs> well, then you're at my level because I feel exactly like you. Because that's what you have to be. You have to be rock solid. You have to be the rock. <laughs> yeah, you do. So I've got to have a hard ass. Heart of stone. Yeah, I'm sort of like that guy that was in uh, the movie Interstate 60. Supposedly I got leukemia, so basically I've got dynamite strapped around me, and I don't give a shit. I will blow these guys to kingdom come if that's what it takes. Thank you. Same Same tactics. Now, I'll drive the snakes out of here. We'll die. And see, the thing is, we can come in and really, if we get powerful enough and enough of us come in together, we can start shutting down 
the state accounts. For anybody that's over the age of 25, the Social Security system. Anybody that's out there that has a D214, take your ass up to the VA hospital. Get registered into that system because basically it's entitled military entitlements that you have coming to you. You declare you have no income, zero income. Everything will be fully paid. You'll even get travel pay. And then, basically, and you can go down to the compensation office there and get anywhere from 10 to 100% disability payment from them for your time and service. It's a hell of a lot better than that damn Social Security check because this one is guaranteed. Why can the IRS come after the Social Security accounts? Why can they come after your commercial bank accounts? Because they're all under the Social Boring. Security system. And that tax charging that is going on there is the Federal Reserve IRS. The IRS is out of Puerto Rico. The fraudulent IRS. And when you stand up to them, basically, they will go away. Hello? Yeah. Got a question? Yeah, I have two questions. Um, first, could you give a summary of how this would apply if you're not at 25? You're breaking up, okay? Try to speak clearly and a little louder. Patrick, could you please give a summary of how this process would be modified for somebody who is not yet 25 but who is over the age of 21? Basically, you can go in and terminate that Social Security account at any point in time. Okay? Okay. As soon as you turn 21, you can get an estate EIN number. You can get a foreign grant or trust EIN number. Okay? Okay. And put it against your account. Then you can basically access... The funds, you're not going to have as much funds basically deposited into your uh, trust. And if you use it logically, then basically you won't have to worry because even if you go out there and help others out, out of this, you have the full faith and credit of the United States of America behind you after you run your account out. That's what they don't want to tell you. Uh -huh. But you only would use that to help other people. But yeah, you could shut it down. Your parents could have shut it down for you if you were underage, under the age of 21. You can terminate any foreign contract at any point in time. Okay, thank you. And see, you got your Social Security that wasn't supposed to go into effect until 18. 
It was only supposed to be a seven-year contract. But they started utilizing it on a lot of people at the age of 16 because basically the people consented to allow it to be used. But you were only, what you were doing was really depositing your assets into an account. You weren't getting any real benefits from it. The people that were getting the benefits was the company you were working for that they were utilizing you as collateral, your bank as collateral. Because basically, until you turn the age of 21, you were supposed to be under the guardianship of your parents. They really weren't supposed to be accessing your bank account. They would have been accessing your parents' bank's accounts. This system, this Jezebel banking system, has been more to destroy the family farms, the families, the whole structure out here in this country. That's their, that was their alternative goal. They did not want a free nation. They want to be the monarchs or the money changers in control like they had in Europe for eons. He who controls the currency controls the nation. Yeah, but basically they're using a Jezebel currency out here. They don't really own, control any real currency. They get the people to believe that this Jezebel currency is real currency, and it's not. It's debt currency. Debt currency. Look over those two packages that I had Tom post up there. Print them out. Play with them. Find out who your address is for your federal district court. Find out the regional office of your Social Security. That is a domestic insurer. Even though the main office is back in Maryland, but the home office for that foreign Social Security, it doesn't say United States Social Security on it anywhere. Does it? It just says Social Security Administration. But nobody ever fucking questioned that. It's controlled out of the banks, out of London, England. It's a foreign banker's insurance corporation and stay the hell away when you get out of it stay the hell away from all insurance you've got the full faith and credit of the United States behind you that is your insurance policy the constitution Yeah, once we learn how to be bankers, it'll be pretty fun. We just got well, just once you new, learn, the new learn what the Constitution says and understand what our founding fathers went through, heartaches and everything else to try and set up the Constitution to protect us. Right. Because the England had a Constitution, but... Our constitution here in this country is far superior to theirs. There was a theirs was the Magna Carta, if I'm correct. No, no, they okay. had another constitution. You just never hear anything about it. Yeah, I didn't know they had one. Yeah, you speak my curiosity. 
I've, I've, I've yeah, heard Tom, referred Tom to has, and I'm, Tom has a link to this 28 pardon? audios that this one guy did up about 5,000 years of uh, history to set up the damn Constitution. Wow. Going all the way back to the Pharaoh's system out here. Covering banking and everything. The Roman system, the Greek system, the Babylonian system, the Israelite system, all went into setting the stage for the constitution of this country. They tried to take and put all the bad shit out on the, away from the thing. They reserved all of our rights and powers to us. We have to stop giving them away to these damn governments because the government has to comply with what the Constitution says. And basically, the Constitution didn't give them power of sovereignty. The land is the sovereign of the nation. We, the people, are the land above ground, and we are the sovereignty of the land. You have to keep talking this over in your mind and basically talking it out loud. Talking to yourself in a mirror to where you get the full understanding of what I've been saying for years. You have to get your courage, you cowardly lions. You're to your own shadow, like the straw man. Don't have a brain to think for yourself. You've got to have somebody else do the thinking for you. And then you don't have a heart because basically most of you don't give a shit about the guy that's doing all the fucking life work for you, trying to give you the fucking knowledge. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't express that, but we, I really appreciate it. I know how much work it is. I'm surprised you come up with it as fast as you do. But I'm just going to study it and know it and just keep learning the words. It's like you're thinking faster than we are. Patrick, this is Ray. I'm very grateful for your assistance, believe me. If I have the money, I will try to help you the best of my ability. I apologize. I'm just poor as dirt. You don't have to apologize if you don't have anything. There's people out here that basically are listening to this that do have the money that have taken my documents and utilized them uh, and gained gain some benefits out of it. Okay? There's so other people out here something. that are selling my documents out here and not doing a damn thing with them. And because they don't know how to operate those documents that I'm putting out here. I've had people come out and say that basically I couldn't hold a candle to a legal uh, writer, a judicial legal writer. I'm far superior to them in every regard. I can write a legal document. I don't need to write 90 to 100 page legal document that says nothing. Because it ain't going to be read. You have to say what you mean in a few words. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Just like in the movie Interstate 60. Green Berets also. Also, that's in the song of the Green Berets. Okay. Enough said about that. (laughs) (laughs) Is there any questions on these documents that basically I had Tom post up there today? This is the way to come out of the system and also the way to access your funds.
We will definitely find out tomorrow whether that IRS commissioner is the right person, but he should be from all indications that are out here because he is internal revenue. And he's the commissioner of the internal revenue of the country. And that is basically the comptroller of the currency. The internal revenue is the currency of the country. We've been told that everything in this country operates as a tax. So what better indication than to say the currency, the controller of the currency, is the IRS commissioner? Mm. And then if he's the controller of the currency, we basically get our assets that are held in trust converted by them into useful currency of exchange. Internal revenue. Revenue. Mm. Say it. Revenue. Revenue. Yeah. yeah. You're revenuing the assets okay. into a different format. You're brokering them. Okay. Yes, there's no question. Basically, everybody understands it. Okay. Yeah, I want to learn. Patrick. Uh, we need to yes. into- I want to learn some more law about how we can be a banker. I mean, we can claim to be a banker, and we know those accounts are. Safe. No, I stop right there. Steve. I'm not, I'm not saying you. I need proof. I'm just saying I'd like to know what what I. Is you it, were it, banked it, upon the land. Right. So you became banked. Oh, and right, you right, right. have assets of the land. You're an inheritance. So now you are an American banker. Banked, right. On the Is land. that simple? Yeah. Now, you don't have to think about this too damn hard. I know. I just th- forgot that main beginning part. We're banked on the land, like you said. Yes. Yeah, we were the banked. Thing. That's the bird thing. B E R. You're attached that's to the land, the, Yeah, that's when your mother threw you on the ground and said, start crawling around, you little fat little turd. Yeah. Work some of that baby fat off. Because I'm tired of carrying you. I'm not going to bore born you anymore, okay? Because, yeah. see, when we were born, that wasn't the day we were birthed. Our birth sack was birthed that day and put upon the land or deposited into the land. But basically, we were not. We were born into our mother's arms. She born us for another 90 days. Right, right. I know you say that. It's just good to drive it in because we have to get our minds, you know. Yeah, we're not like a cow that basically... The mother shoots out the birth sack and the calf both upon the land at the same time. Right. Because, see, that calf doesn't get a bank account. But yet, it gets everything that the earth gives to it. And it doesn't have to pay for any of it. Yeah, right. Someone else had a question? Yep. Yes. Um, On this internal revenue banking transaction form, it says um, down in the first paragraph, I am blank, or the family blank. But then it goes on down about the fifth line, and it says American bank accounts are the state of Iowa, What's in to be inside the quote marks? Certificate of live birth. 
What's the well, quote? Be the state of your name, your state's name, and then the next right. in the quotation marks is what the name is on the account. Your name on the certificate of live birth. All caps. Oh, it, it doesn't California, make any difference. Certificate of California. Oh, okay. You're in get- yeah, and then you're going to have to attach a copy of your certificate of live birth as your claim check. All right. See, that's what I said on the first page, okay? We mm-hmm. basically do the, the contract, then we supply the two accounts for the two trust accounts for somebody that has a civilian initial birth birth account, and then one who has a military birth account or bank account. Okay. And then down in the next paragraph, it says, let it be known that per the Treasury banking, the Internal Revenue Statutes and Codes, I am the principal banker, CEO, over my what kind of American bank? Blank American bank. Mm-hmm. Your name in all capital letters. Oh. Yeah, that's the name everywhere. of your bank. Every, everywhere that you were that's bank divine that bank. Appears, that that appears okay. that appears all through these documents. You have to put your name in front of American Bank. Oh, okay. And that goes in all capital letters. Oh, all right. Yeah, see, this is really pretty simple. Yes. And that's what you guys can talk about on the Skype group and go over this. Right. And then how do we... I strongly recommend it. That's what you guys do. So you can talk this thing out between yourselves. I know what the shit I'm talking about. You guys are the ones that don't know what the hell's going on. And you need to reiterate it by talking back and forth between one another to get it straight in your head. So that when they do come and see you, you will have this down. Yeah, I, I posted a question about a week ago. And it still is unanswered, and so I sent us another post a week later. But hardly anybody's been on the Skype group. What was the question? Um, I'll have to look it up. Um, well, if you don't get the question answered right away, then bring it up on the damn call. Right, right. But I was hoping more people would participate. You know, it's like... That's what Skype's for, guys. That you well, can... that's what the cowardly lion was in the Wizard of Oz for, because basically too many people are out there just scared of their own damn shadow, thinking that basically, oh, the big bad wolf's going to come and get them. Three little piggies hiding in the damn stone item, but basically the thing still gets blown down. Yep. Anyhow, I'm just looking through Skype. I can. I'm looking for that group, and uh, there's been such few. Uh, I have to. Uh, here it is. Oh yeah, that was on the uh, Casio Musiana security of blank, and then says, "What goes in the blank? Is it the United States or the state of?" The security for the Casio Musiana that's the saying that you're not going to compete with them, you know? I don't know if you're, you know, I imagine you're still doing that. That's important. Yeah, you're not, well, basically you can if you want to, but basically we don't need to go that far anymore, okay? Okay. So when you're doing the security of Casio, whatever 
you just address it to whoever you're addressing it to at the time. It could be the state attorney general or it could be the uh, United States attorney general. But like you say, that we don't need to go that far right now. Okay. All right. When you are when you become the American banker and you get your identification in that regard, and then they see, they will come and talk to you and find out what your intentions are of what you're going to use this money out of this account for. Yeah. And if you're planning on going out and buying a couple of nuclear weapons and trying to blow up the damn state capital, uh, I don't think they're going to support you too well. <laughs> no, I'm going to be the Howard Hughes of Lincoln, California. No, you're going to be a stealth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could still be productive and go into production and make things. It would just be a corporate fiction. Yes, but you don't have yeah. to be out front there Yeah. in the process. You run it through your bank. Yeah. Got it. God, well, i got a lot to learn. Yeah, just a new way of thinking. You're thinking like a creditor instead of a debtor. We got to learn how to think no, like creditors. No, you think like a CEO instead of like a damn employee. Yeah. The CEO is the one who rides around the Cadillac that has a chauffeur driving the damn thing or a limo. Mm-hmm. Sitting in the back seat smoking a cigar. So you, you don't have to do easy. that. You can wear coveralls. You can basically stay hidden. You can enjoy life out here. You don't have to be a partaker and have all the glory and have all the uh, shit thrown upon you. You receive it internally. You feel good about yourself. They mm-hmm. Basically, you're doing things that are not being Acknowledged by everybody. That's one of the only things that has kept me going is because I've been trying to help people even though I get pissed off about not getting any respect or anything, acknowledgement, appreciation in some regards. I do appreciate the people that did come forward and send me that $25 and I tried to send them out that CD. Now, those people who got that CD that I sent to them, listen to those 5,000-year audios that are on there. You will learn one hell of a lot about that. Good. About the Constitution. Then go and start reading the Constitution, and when you read a document, look up the words that are in the damn thing. Inhabitant is a big one that basically nobody understands what it means in the Constitution. You're not an inhabitant if you've already been in office twice. You're only an inhabitant when you take the office. So you're not in office, right? No. You are an inhabitant when you are a household member. Okay. You're not in office, household member, yeah. You are in office when you are an inhabitant. You're a household member of the government. Okay. Think about these things logically. What would make real sense in usage of that word? It means that basically you cannot be in there in consecutive terms. Right. Terms. Yeah. yeah, you're not supposed to. You're supposed you to. You can't take a, come out and run yeah. as the governor of the state. Run for uh, being a senator of the state at the same while you're in office. You have to sit out one term and then run in the next election. That was to prevent the damn government from being bought and paid for by the bankers. 
usurpation of the land. No, it was being bought and paid for by the bankers. Okay? That's yeah. simple. Don't try and throw any other garbage into this trail. Keep it simple, stupid. Say what you mean and mean what you say. English is not my first language. Well, I'm looking forward to opening up the CD. I didn't get a chance to get get into it and see what you had, but thanks for the inspiration about that. Oh, well, Daisy, I got that from Tom, from some documents that he sent me, and he hadn't even listened to them. Had, did you, Tom? Nope. You've got nope. inspiring me to do it now, too. Yeah. Yeah, someone had sent, someone had sent me that, saying the interesting. But I've, I've been swamped, but I'll get to it. I'll do it. I'll be glad to talk about it as I learn about it. I'll share what I, you know, understand. Well, right now is what you need to do is get these uh, these two packages understood that I put out here, the one mm-hmm. out of the system, okay? Right. After that, basically, I'm not going to be talking about this anymore. Right. Yeah, it looks like the way you drop your anchor, drop the anchor on that citizenship. Be a banker. Drop to anchor. Be a banker. No, I'm going to stop being a wet nurse to people that they see just want to be scared out of their own damn shadow. Not out here as fighters. They're scared like spi- of spiders, you said? I don't know. Scared out of her damn shadows, okay? Oh, yeah. Anybody else out there have a question? There's other people on the line out there, Tom. How many you got on there now? Um, 16. There were 18 altogether at the time. I, I, Nick, when he asked his questions, dropped off the line. Well, I've, only gotten, he was I've only heard from about four or five people, okay? What the hell's wrong with the rest of you guys? You know it all? Or you fall asleep and you forgot to turn your damn phone off? Hello, Patrick. This is Kurt. Okay. What do you got? I just wanted to let you know I'm here. I haven't been able to access the documents, so I don't have any intelligent questions for you. Well, you need to get those documents. Tom's got them posted up there. Posted yes. them up in PDF format. I will get them as soon as I possibly can. Okay, and basically you should be able, in most cases, those documents, try to write them up, that all you have to do is print them out in PDF form and handwrite the other information in and send them in. It's as long as you've got your state EIN and your foreign grant or trust EIN, you know what your bank account number is. That's your certificate of live birth number. Yes. I don't have the foreign grant or trust. I have the estate EIN. Okay. Then you tomorrow morning you need to work on getting that. You need to... Talk it over on the Skype group. Talk to Tom. We've got the template of what you need to do. And don't be afraid to put damn social security numbers in there because you're going to close that down. Okay. But that will help identify your certificate of live birth, your claiming document, when you apply for that foreign grant or trust. Because how did you get your Social Security account? You had to give them a copy of your certificate of live birth. True. Uh, excuse me, Patrick. This might be interesting to you, but I never had to present the Social Security number because I came across, or the Social Security number, uh, birth certificate, because I came across the border 
as a Mexican national, knowing that I was adopted here, and I presented documents that said that I was adopted. They gave me a Social Security number on that without an actual birth certificate. No, they already had you in the system. Okay, then I did not know that at they the time. They already had your certificate of live birth in the system. See, you just don't see this yeah, but up you, front. But they have yeah, to have a you. source. They have to have a source document before they could do anything else. Hmm. So they had to have a copy of that birth certificate or born certificate, really, that you were born, that you're not dead. Okay, that was 20 years ago, but no, I I understand no, that. that was when you were born, okay? You okay. were initially, even though you went down to Mexico, basically you had a born document here in the United States of America. Yeah. Then in the in the adoption process, they basically adopted you and took you out of country. So it's yeah. all in the it's all in the paperwork trail. You have to have the starting point. You don't start reading a book in chapter fifteen. You've got to start from chapter one. Okay, I did not know that. Okay. At the so don't argue with me. I'm not. Okay. There's no argument here. Thank you okay. for the argument. Okay. Then think about these things logically. That's the problem. Most of the stuff you guys come up with is illogical because you're not really thinking. You're the straw man in the Wizard of Oz. You have no brain. You want to have one, but you don't have one. Got a question for you, Patrick. Okay. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Go ahead. Yep. Um... Yeah, where's the uh, IRS um, charter at, or were they, where's their charter document as a starting point? If I'm going to do anything with a company or corporation, it makes logical sense to me that I have a starting point. Okay, so can go see to the first volume of the statutes at large. The Revenue Department, okay, tariff taxes and everything else out here, went to the Treasury. The revenue basically came in, and basically that's the revenue of the country. It's been there in the Constitution and the statutes from day one. This fraudulent foreign IRS was created when they created the Federal Reserve. In 1913, they also set up another fraudulent IRS homeported out of Puerto Rico. That's for the corporations to try and tax you to pay their taxes for them. That's the Jezebel IRS. And see, you can shut those guys down when you understand what you're doing. But go through all the statutes at large. It talks about the internal revenue. The Secret Service is the enterprise financial management system. Out here, they're in the du jour. The FBI is in the du jour. 
We just have to approach the IRS commissioner in the, his de jour capacity because he's wearing two hats. Yeah, go through the statutes like I have for years. We got the link on the site for all the statutes out there. Download them. They're called public get them in a law. PDF format and then do a word search in PDF in the in that volume of statutes for internal revenue or just revenue or whatever. Go through and search these things out for yourself. But I've already done a lot of the damn legwork for you. Hell, you'll believe anything you see on the damn Internet, but you won't believe anything that I tell you out here. That's what gets me about my family and everything. They will sit there and read some damn rag or listen to some damn politician or some minister or some other person, and they won't believe a damn thing that you tell them. Because you don't have a damn pedigree or whatever, a damn fraudulent, document behind your name. That's because I'm not an educated idiot. I'm self-educated. I have deciphered what is right and wrong. Those other people, they couldn't tell you what was right and wrong. They've just been in dinner, in, in inundated with what somebody else told them to believe. Tell a lie often enough and anybody will believe it. The worst part is they'll believe it and without a question. Yeah. You're, okay. You're right Any other questions about these day. documents? Okay. If not, Good night. I'm going to talk to you down the road. Okay. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. I'll get right on this. Thank you, teacher.